Welcome back everyone to Out of the Park Baseball 22 Baltimore Orioles franchise and we need to fill our coaching staff. I almost forgot about that here but as we're uh, in the winter meetings just a day away and uh, I was looking for our assistant GM and Theo Epstein is available so I want to offer him a contract and uh, the maximum is five years so we'll submit this and hopefully he joins. We also need a manager as well so let's see who is available as a manager. Uh, Morgan Innsberg, former Astro. AJ Hinch, okay. Uh, you know, let's go give AJ Hinch an opportunity in Baltimore. All right, and then we need, Do what do we need? We need, let me see here. We need a bench coach, pitching coach. So let's get a bench coach. See if there's anybody I recognize here. Uh, we could get Glenn Sherlock. I recognize Glenn Sherlock. Let's give uh, Glenn Sherlock a opportunity. Let's give him a two-year deal now. And then we need a... What do we need? We need... A freaking um, pitching coach. So pitching coach. Let's see who's available. Not seeing anybody I recognize. We'll just get Beltron. Since he's got the best reputation. And then... I know we need a base coach. I forget which first and third base coach. So we'll offer you a contract. And we'll offer you third base. And what else do we need? Like the whole. The whole team's personnel kind of left. Team trainer we could use. I want somebody with the most experience. We'll offer you a contract to be our tra team trainer. All right, so what else do we need to do? Let's see, we offered everybody deals. Uh, we have some money available let's see what do we have available four and a half million and we raised our ticket prices our roster is set our rotation set our lineup is set so i think we're ready to go unless something comes up um you know, we don't, four and a half million, we could try to sign somebody. I feel like just leaving that money available, though, will be uh, probably a good thing, just in case a trade comes along. Uh, Jaren Duran for Cumberland. No, Cumberland's going to be important in the future for us. All right, so it looks like we filled up our coaching staff here. Got that done during the winter meetings so well aj hinch we're still waiting on he's kind of taking a little time okay he agreed and we lost drew pomerantz to the dimebacks so let's see here make sure we got everybody okay so this is what our coaching staff looks like obviously me as the gm theo epstein who should be a lot smarter than the moron i had uh that told me not to trade for shohei otani uh, AJ Hinch, Glenn Sherlock, Beltron, Chen, Somers, Rep, Ed Bull. Uh, so, few recognizable names there, but hopefully Theo Epstein's not a moron in this game like the previous GM I had. Because that was just obnoxiously bad. Alright, we have the 29th pick. So I doubt... Well, it's the Rule 5 draft. I don't think there's anybody really... Uh, that's going to be somebody we want. Zuniga might be good. 
And, you know, we do need a closer. Nah. Let's, uh... Let's just simulate the draft. I don't think we really need anybody. Uh, we didn't lose anybody. I'm glad. I almost forgot to protect players, so I'm glad we didn't lose anybody. That would have been really bad. So actually, Conroy... Conroy won't be a part of the opening day roster. Uh, he'll be down in AAA, which he should be a starter, not a reliever, but whatever. Whatever the AI wants to do, I guess. So we're just getting through this offseason here. I don't know if we'll be as good in terms of the regular season as we were last year. I feel like we're going to have to make some mid-season moves like we did uh, last season to stay in contention. Tyler Nevin, I'm not going to give up. That guy's that guy's going to be good for us someday. Let's see, Hall of Fame voting results. Ortiz inducted. Sheffield was dropped. Przinsky, Ramirez, Weaver, Gonzalez, Brugley, Hunter, and Batista were all dropped. Beltre was close. Beltran, 65. Mara... 56, Ramirez, 42. Billy Wagner is going to get dropped next year. That sucks. Billy Wagner really should be in the Hall of Fame, honestly. He was such an elite closer. People uh, just treat him like he wasn't that good, but he was an elite, very underrated guy. So we lost Carlos Martinez to the Braves. How much did these guys sign for? Oh, he only signed for a million dollars? What? What? Okay, this game's logic is a little bit broken. I thought we weren't going to be able to afford him. Do I want to trade Paul Fry? I feel like that's a lot for Paul Fry. I mean, we're getting a lot of prospects. I'm going to go with Theo Epstein on this. He says no, so I'm just going to not do that deal. It was tempting, though. Uh, so, oh, okay, our team budget did raise $2 million to 150. So what do we have available? Maybe we'll make a late signing. We have $3.7 million available. Is there anybody on the market still that we could possibly pick up for a couple mil? Ben Attendee's still on the market. He wants five and a half. Javi Guerrero wants three. Travis Darno wants 3.6. Chris Taylor. That would be an interesting move. Aaron Loop. Matt Whistler. And Adam Frazier. Kind of like the idea of... Uh, Oh, a minor league deal with a with an option? Sure. Why not? We'll pick up Chris Taylor. So that will keep us within budget, and we're not actually spending that money unless we promote him. But we're getting some uh, some extra depth, Chris Taylor. All right, so we got some interesting prospects here into the international complex. Uh, nobody really seems too talented except for this guy, and that's just one and a half. Chris Taylor is waiting. Oh, it looks like he signed. Okay, let's promote you to AAA. And can we give you a spring training invite? I guess not. That sucks. All right, Ponce de <laughs> he Ponce de Leon is uh six weeks. Wow. So that sucks. Uh. 
Bruce Zimmerman out for eight weeks. Wow. Okay, so two guys hurt. Conroy will go into the rotation. I guess we're we're gonna have Conroy on the on the rotation for now. And then Wow. Jose Ramos was really good in AAA for us. Maybe he could be our closer. And not Will Harris. Honestly, that might be a good move. Let's see how he does in spring training. I mean, those are impressive numbers. 76 innings, 60 games, 1.64 ERA, 7-2 record. All relief appearances. You know, he only got nine saves, but it is triple A. There's not many save opportunities there. De Los Santos improved. So that's good. So we're going to go ahead and sim through spring training here. Oh, Ramos is out for six weeks. Who else can we call up, give an opportunity? You weren't that good. I want somebody that was lights out. Alex Wells. Josh Wells. I like that guy. This guy could be good for us. You know, he was kind of a starter and a reliever. So let's put him in a six-man situation. Put Will Harris there. Put Beretta back there. We'll put Paul Fry as a middle relief. And we'll we'll uh we'll give him a start. Let's see what he does in spring. Got to give some of these younger players some opportunities to come up through our system because we've been relying on too many MLB guys, and you know with our budget and these constant injuries from our best players. It just, it's its a total shit show, honestly. Uh, Chris Taylor, why not? Come up. Chris Dad, come up. So I guess this is how you do spring training invites. Because it's not adding them to the 40 man. So I'm just going to promote all these guys, honestly. Give them all opportunities. And see what they can do. So Swells is doing really bad. So we'll throw Alex Wells in there. Make you long relief. Your metal relief, long relief, and long relief. All right. And then make yeah the manager can figure out how to do the lineup. Josiah Gray, four days, not a big deal. Uh, so we're actually doing really well in spring training, though. 11 and 6. 13 and 7 now. Austin Hayes is back. I really hope we don't get hit with the injury bug this year. That would really suck. 18 and 9. All right, so we are a day away from opening day. So that's cool. Um, yeah, the team did good. Team did pretty good. Let's take a look at the spring training stats. Bullpen was atrocious. Uh, Miles Jansen actually was pretty impressive in the rotation. Josh uh, Swalls did better as a reliever than a starter. And Sean Berkey was pretty good too. Rest of the bullpen was kind of trash, except for Junior Fernandez. Rotation was good, except for Angel Kroga. Kroga? Kuroga? I don't know how you pronounce that name. I'm going to have to figure that one out. Uh, and But yeah, everybody was good, especially Gray and Urias. Hitting-wise, can we get some stats? What the heck? Are they just not going to display stats now, or what? That's really dumb. So I guess we don't get to see stats uh, of our hitters. 
Well, we could look here. Fletcher crushed it. Marsh, Mountcastle. Oh my gosh, Mountcastle. 16 home runs in spring training. What on earth? That guy's doing steroids. That is insane. Juan Pagan is our number one prospect. Dang, he's really good. He's only 17 too. Barco is pretty high up there as well. And Austin Martin as well. So that is how the team is looking. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next episode.